Shriners Hospitals for Children Boston was initially conceived as one of the three Shriners Burns Institutes that were first thought up in the late 1950s and early 60s when the Shriners were looking for a new mission in the care of children. It was identified that children received inadequate burn care in the United States, and in fact, burn patients in general were not being treated as well as many intelligent people thought they could be if more time, energy, and research was directed at burns as a major problem. The three original hospitals that were built in Galveston, Boston, and Cincinnati rapidly became leaders in the field of pediatric burn care and in research in burns. The Shriners Burns hospitals have been in the forefront leading prevention efforts basic science research efforts, and clinical improvements in the care of burns in both children and adults that would have been unthinkable when the idea was first conceived by those Shriners visionaries and the original formers of this mission over the past 50 years. And I'm very proud to be a part of it. You know, I started back in the early 70s and at that time, the rule of thumb was that any kids that were greater than 35% third degree burns were, uh, had a very uh, uh, slim chance of surviving. Today, I can tell you, over the past 20 years, we've saved kids over 90% third degree burn. We take the sickest kids from all around the world, and given the training, uh, the education, the research that's been done here in Boston, we're equipped to take care of those kids and get them back on their feet. I initially started treatment in 1967. I was about three years old and I was playing with an extension cord. I was trying to pull it apart. I was going to make it into a telephone, but I couldn't pull it apart with my hands, so I bit it apart. It burned a very big hole in my face. And even the photographs don't show it really well because they're, they're old and kind of faded now, but it was quite noticeable. They were able to repair this corner of my mouth so that my, my lips had a, a natural shape. And I remember just being so amazed by that. So grateful for all of the amazing people that run this hospital and volunteer for this hospital. I, I wouldn't change my burn for anything. I feel like it's a part of my story and it's a part of my character and it's a, definitely a part of um, who I am today. After 50 years of existence, I think it would be fair to say the Shriners Burns Institute now become the Shriners Hospital for Children, Boston, has at least equaled and probably even exceeded the hopes and expectations of the visionaries who conceived of the Shriners Burns Institutes 